Because I know it's going to use a move. It's going to use a move, and it's going to exert some of its exhaustion. There we go. We caught him. Well, that was pretty easy. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. OCR with Hydrologist. Nice. How's it going, everyone? It's Abdallah here, bringing you guys a tips and tricks tutorial video for Temtem on PC early access and, of course, other systems very soon. This video is going to show you guys step by step on how to get two of the most rare water Temtem and arguably the best water Temtem in the game. And those two are definitely going to be Oshiara and Nesla. These two water Temtem are amazing. They're a little tricky to find, but don't worry, I'll hold your hand and we'll show you guys exactly what's going on. Now, some of you guys may be wondering exactly where they are and or how long you have to play the main story in order to get to them. And don't worry, we'll let you in on all the information. So anyway, before we get started, if you guys enjoy this and want to see even more Temtem walkthrough tips and tricks tutorial videos, be sure to smash that like button and share the video with a friend. Let's get some more people on board with it. But anyway, um, in order to get the surfboard within the game, right over here, you cannot buy this one from the shop you're going to need to play the game and get up to the first dojo. Now, that involves a couple hours of gameplay, I'd say. You start your game right over here in the very first town. You make your way all the way up north to the second town. Make your way up north again to the third town. And then, of course, there's something that happens in the main story. I won't spoil what it is, but you're going to be climbing a mountain all the way up top over here in order to get to um, another event. So once you're done with that, you're going to head back over here to this town, beat the dojo, and then you're going to get a surfboard. Again, I'm going kind of spoiler free on that. So anyway, once you get the surfboard, head back on over to Brasal del Mar, which is one of the early areas that you went over to. And once you're in Brasal del Mar, if you guys are ready to go, make sure that you guys stock up on, on a couple things, and I'll show you guys what you're going to need. So head on over to the Temporium, head on over to this person over here, and purchase some items. You're going to need some scents if you really want them. Uh, I'll buy a couple of them just for the heck of it. And then Tem Cards is really where it's at. You want to buy at least 20 to 30 of them, uh, depending on how much money and currency you have. Because some of these Tem Tem break out of the Tem Cards, and you don't want to be in the spot where you're going to lose it. So make sure that you guys have enough Tem Cards. Uh, buy some Balms in case you need healing up. Um, make sure that you have your Tem Essence vial completely filled up and all of your Tem Tem team is entirely ready to go. All right, so once you have that, you're gonna head on over this way. Now, remember, we're in Brasal del Mar using the surfboard after getting it from the first dojo. Uh, we're gonna go over to our items. This is absolutely not necessary, but I like doing it. It's a scent. I'm gonna use it right now just so that you guys understand um, that I don't really wanna be in any kind of wild encounters while I'm showing you exactly where to go. So we're going to be surfing up north over here on the side of the pier, and there's going to be a secret cave. And the secret cave has some interesting access to it. Watch out for these swimmers over here. This will be a guaranteed battle. So with those swimmers, yeah, it, it's a pretty hard battle. But if you already beat the dojo, then you're already set and ready to go. So once you go over here, you're going to go to the Agua Marina Caves, and you're going to head straight north. And once you head straight north over here, there's going to be some random battles that you'll come about. But... Random battles are going to be super easy by now because there's just scales, there's a bunch of water temtem that you can easily destroy within a couple seconds. So do one hit over here, almost a one hit KO, most likely a one hit KO. You're done. Okay, so now that those battles are done, I'm going to make sure that I have sense on. Uh, yeah, so yeah, making sure the sense are on. Okay, so you're going to head right over here this way. You're going to go down and then you're going to go down again. Now there's no any, there's not any NPC battles over here. You're just going to do a quick U-turn and then you're gonna come across a pool. And this is the pool where you want to be. As you guys can see, tons of people are over here in the area. What you're gonna to need to do is swim around over here in a circle for a good amount of time. And then if you're lucky enough, you can absolutely come into a 5% encounter with Oceana. And that is, or Oceara, I'm sorry, with Oceara. And then once you do, you'll be able to capture it. So let me show you guys the clip in which I got it and then captured it. Let's go do that really quick. Oh, there we go. Okay. Okay. Whoo, here we go. Not too bad, not too bad. All right, what do we got? What do we got? Uh, I gotta get rid of that other thing first. Okay, so this is the Oshiara. Oh my gosh. All right. 
So let's see how we're going to catch this bad boy. And I hope it has the correct ability. We need that good ability. Let's hit it. Okay, using kick, neutral attack, that's perfectly fine. I'm going to try to put it asleep, and I'm just going to toss Tem cards at it. Um, I don't necessarily want to use any attacks on it. Yeah, I'm just gonna... Yeah, I've got 26 temp cards. Uh, I could do one attack. I'm gonna do a Windblade. Just to weaken it a little bit. Okay, that's way more than I wanted to weaken it. That's a lot of damage, too. Okay, so now we need to put it asleep. And we need to start capturing it. Because that used a lot of its, um... It's stamina, which is crazy. So we're going to temp card. We're in temp card. Look at that. Oh, come on. You're kidding me. Try again. No, I wasn't going fast enough. I'm going to use another hypnosis. And then I'm going to use temp card. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. OCR with Hydrologist, nice. And the SVs, uh, the SVs, which are the like the individual traits that you can't change. I got a special defense and a speed that's pretty decent. But other than that, it's pretty good. <laughs> you notice the green on the side there. Dude, that's exactly it. Cool, cool. Let's add it to the Tem deck and uh, let's see exactly what's going on with this thing. Ooh. Okay, so there you have it. That was me catching my very first Oshiara, and we did get a very good ability on it. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to Smoke Bomb up. Uh, Smoke Bomb is the, the escape rope of the game, should you uh, call it that. But you're, get, you're able to go all the way back to the latest Temtem station, and you can move on in and get yourself healed up. Okay, so for uh, Nesla, for Nesla it's going to be a little bit different. And I'll show you guys exactly where you need to go for Nesla. Now, if you take a look at the map over here, uh, you are going to need to go north and then to this little bay right in here. So it's not that far away. So this bay that's in the directly center of the screen over here, that's exactly what we're going to be using and uh, trying to get to. So we're going to climb up the Thalassian Cliffs and we're going to try to get ourselves a Nesla. And I do like Nesla a lot. It's, uh, it's, it's probably my... <laughs> my favorite of the two of these different temtem so we're gonna go over here we're gonna go up north and this is the spot where you're going to find nesla now again like i talked to you guys before is you're going to be just like this guy you're going to be walking in a circle in order to proc the five percent chance of getting a nesla to spawn now keep in mind that nesla is an electric water type so if you have anything that's weak against electric it'll probably destroy you so be very careful about that so anyway um, yeah, I'm going to cut right now. Uh, yeah, we're going to not use another. I'm going to cut right now to my Nestle encounter so that you guys can see exactly what I did in order to catch it. There we- Whoa! Dang! Doubles, baby! Oh my gosh, that's like twice as lucky. Holy moly! Alright, I don't know how I'm going to do this one. Um, I gotta do something off the bat. I'm gonna heal myself really quick just to make sure that I'm good. Uh, we're gonna balm up and then I'm gonna kick one of them. Like what it really boils down to is getting at least one. And they're gonna exhaust themselves. And KO my entire team. I gotta get rid of one. Mm, let's do some... I guess I'm gonna do some Arushiol. Holy moly, man. These guys are tough. I'm just going to start next turn. I'm going to start tossing Temtem cards at him. 
Well, that stinks. Knocked it out. That's fine. <clears throat> Alright, so here we go. Tem card's up. And then we're going to double Tem card it. Because I know it's going to use a move. It's going to use a move. And it's going to exert some of its exhaustion. There we go. We caught him. Well, that was pretty easy. Hydrologist. No, that's not the ability that we want. Oh, but anyway, that's exactly how you get it. Tem deck. Yeah, that's going in the deck. So, yeah, that's kind of cool. All right, so ladies and gents, I showed you guys exactly how to capture Nesla and Oshiara in this video. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take it a step further and we're going to show you guys exactly what's so great about them so that you guys can determine which one you want to put on your team. Do you want to slot one of your main team members with Nesla or do you want to do it with Oshiara or do you want to do it with both? So let's take a look. Now, we're going to talk about their unique traits or their abilities within the game, and then we're gonna to go to the Gamepedia and I'll show you guys exactly what moves they learn and what their base stats are so that you guys have a better understanding of who they are. So here we go, here's Nestla. Uh, what I really love about Nestla is the, the traits. I think Nestla's traits are absolutely amazing. Electric Synthesize is so good. It's like Volt Absorb. Uh, when attacked with an electric technique, it restores HP instead of receiving damage. Compound that with one of its moves that it gets that attacks the entirety, it, it attacks like three people. So Nestle can self heal, which is absolutely amazing. And spam multiple people at the same time. So that's really good. And then Hydrologist, if you don't necessarily want like the electric absorption or the electric synthesize, then you can try to get one with Hydrologist, which is going to be increasing the water techniques by 15%. So it's gonna be a very strong water attacker on your team. So I like it a lot. The, there's no hidden abilities or hidden traits in the game. You just have to keep on catching them until you get the trait that you want. So keep that in mind. I would definitely recommend Electric Synthesize. Uh, but anyway, we're going to head over here to Oshiara. Now, Oshiara is here with a couple different traits. You guys can see that one of them is Hydrologist, which is the one that you necessarily want on this one because it's going to make water techniques even stronger. Now, Mithridatism is not that great because it prevents the poison status, and that's pretty... Pretty lame, because there's not too many opportunities for you to get poisoned in all of these battles. It's very situational. So getting Hydrologist is what you exactly want. So keep that in mind. All right, so now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna pull up the Gamepedia so that we can actually compare both these two and their base stats so that you guys understand where I'm coming from and you guys can find out who's the better one. So we've got Oshiara right over here on the left side. Again, this is the Gamepedia. You guys can take a look at the site. They're gonna be linked in the description. So kudos to the team that's working on this. So uh, Nesla and then we have Oshiara. So you'll notice the main difference is that Oshiara is indeed the uh, water type only. And then uh, Nesla is the water and electric typing. So they have a little bit of uh, different uh, type matchups when it comes to getting hit by stuff. So I'll show you guys this really quick. So type matchup uh, right over here at the very top of the screen is going to be as such. So you'll see over here, the only weakness, the true weaknesses for a water type Temtem is going to be nature, electric, and then toxic. So you'll see that over there. Now, since you have two different uh, abilities or two different traits on Nesla, you'll see that uh, the normal variant is going to be weak against the nature, weak against crystal since it is electric, and then uh, weak against toxic type. So it does drop the electric weakness over here. And then of course you'll notice some other little halves that's not there. So the great thing about electric synthesize though is really good, I love that, is that you could switch it in on a predicted electric move and you're going to heal over here. So you'll have a zero, which is going to be like healing instead of getting hit by an electric attack. Whereas you're going to be keeping your three weaknesses here. So three weaknesses, three resistances, three weaknesses, three resi resistances, and an absorption. So you guys can find out which one you like better. All right, so now that we've seen that, Let's take a look at base stats. Uh, base stats are over here as well. You guys can see that uh, the superior Temtem is indeed going to be Oceana with a base stat total of 486 versus a 437 on uh, the uh, <laughs> this little Nesla 
I love this. I love this guy. I think that nestles a little bit better. But anyway, it doesn't have the stats to back it up, but it has the ability if you can get the right ability. So you'll notice over here, 64 versus 45, uh, 42 stamina versus 58. Um, special, no, this is speed. I'm sorry. Speed 100, which is really good. So you're going to go really fast versus a 66. Attack of 54 versus a 76. Defense of 51 versus 50. Special attacks at whopping 110 versus the um, 70 over here. And then of course, special defense 65 and versus the 72. So it's obvious. It's obvious that Oshiara has the base stat totals, but that ability of electric synthesize is really good. So you'll also take a look at the moves that they have over here. Um, I would say that Nesla is more of like the solo kind of, you could put it on anyone's team and it'll do okay work, right? because it doesn't have any synergy moves. That's why I kind of say that. So it's got Water Blade. The real crux of the set is going to be Chain Lightning, where Chain Lightning hits three targets. So if you have Nesla on the second, or on the, uh, on the right side, and then you aim for the top left, it's going to hit three things in a clockwise. So it's gonna hit your enemy, your enemy, and then yourself. And if you have Chain Lightning and you're hitting yourself with it, you're going to heal a little bit. So that's really good, it's self-healing, so I love that. Um, right over here, Sparks is going to be uh, helping boost your uh, special attack stat. You do have Tesla Prison, which lowers their speed. Stare, um, Ice Stalactite, which is a water move, and then Electric Storm. So it does get some really good stuff. It also gets Wake Up and Rend uh, as well, which are going to be like TMs or uh, different techniques that you can teach. Whereas over here, I really like Oshiara because you have the ability to do some synergy moves. And if you guys don't know what synergy moves are, that's where you have your Oshiara using a move and then your ally is of a certain type. In this case, high pressure water. If you're the water type and you have a fire type right next to you as an ally, you're going to do additional damage and or extra side effects with the moves. Uh, same with Tsunami, it's gonna be stronger and then possibly uh, inflict status if you have a wind type right next to you. So if you guys have your Tuwali from the very beginning of the game, you can do um, Oshiara and Tuwali next to each other with some massive tsunamis doing work. And then Flood also does the exact same thing with an Earth type on your team. So I think that these are great. Great move pools. I think the ability on Nestle makes it even better. So guys, you guys let me know in the comments, what do you like? And then what is your team comp? What, uh, which of these Temtem are worth it for you guys? I'm really excited to see what you guys come up with. So anyway, thanks so much for watching. I hope this video has helped you out. If it did, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe for even more Temtem. We're currently going through a 100% walkthrough right now of collecting all the Temtem and just beating the main story in preparation for the launch on Nintendo Switch and of course Xbox and PlayStation 4. It's a cool one, so I hope you guys will definitely check it out. Uh, click on the su subscribe button, you're all set with that. Uh, click on the join button on my main channel page to become a member just like these awesome folks. And you guys can see the playlist on screen right now. So hopefully the video helps you out. Thanks so much for watching. Looking forward to your discussions on which one you guys think is better, uh, Nestla or Oshiara. Let me know in the comments and we'll go from there. Other than that, thanks for watching. Take care.